Hi, and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. Today, we're going to be drawing... <laughs> we're going to start with his nose right here. Right here? Yeah. And his nose is a little bit more square shaped than some of the other pups we've been doing. Kind of a rectangle and then the little V shape. Mom, oh, cute. I'm already done. That's cute. And then we're gonna draw a little line coming down. And then a smile. And then fix that little line. He opens his mouth big like that. So yeah, we're gonna do his I teeth. I don't wanna do the, 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 And then we're gonna do two, like just a curvy line with two little bumps here for his tongue. And then you fill in the rest black. <laughs> so even though his teeth look really big and scary, they don't look as scary once you start filling in the black. No, that's a black inside. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna draw a rainbow shape like this. Da, 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 da. Oh, never mind. And then three dots. One, two, three. And I'm doing one, a lot. Two, three. Okay. Okay. Because it's my pit. <gasps> Look at this paw. Oh, cute. That's a fun idea to make a paw out of his whiskers marks. Now we're gonna do his eye. So right across from I his nose. I know his eye. Yeah. We've done so many pups. You're getting so good at this. We're gonna make... But he's more different. Yeah. Look he's... at his chin. Yeah, his chin is more different. You're so right. Okay, so there's one eye with the curved line under it. Can I do the chin differently? If you want. Wait, can you teach me how to do the chin? I would love to do that. Okay, so now we've got the two rainbows that make the eyes. Eye yep, Now we need to make the eyeballs with a circle and a little circle and a black circle. So a circle and a little circle. Flip. And the black. Look at him! Oh, very good job, sweetie. I All don't right. want to do his chain. He will look weird. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that next. Well, no, first we're going to draw his eyebrows. So just right above his eye, we just draw a little rainbow shape. Eyebrows? Mm hmm. And then right above the eyebrows, we're going to draw the brim of his hat. I know a his, brim! You know a brim, yep, it's the edge of his cap. And then a diagonal line going back each way. And then we're gonna draw another diagonal, I mean, now another curved line to follow the other brim. A brim! Good job. And now we need to draw just a little notch line here and then another diagonal line. And then another little notch line and another diagonal line. And then we're gonna do a curved line up and over, flatten it out, and then up again, flatten it out. Look at his blue hat. Oh, <laughs> he's actually got a hard hat, which is a construction hat. He, but this is a, uh, 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 um, a structure hat soft. Oh, okay. Well, and then we're gonna draw a curved line here. I'm going and to do the curved line. symbol mm -hmm. in the paw, like dots, the paw. The so dots yeah, the symbol. we're going to make the symbol with a curved line up, over, curve down, and then bring them together to a point. And then another thin line inside of it, if you've got room. And then the Look paw. Look at his symbol. Oh, that's cool. So the three ovals for the paw, then I'm and then do some lines. the bottom part, which is a rainbow and a curvy line. I'm doing some lines. Oh, very nice. There are some more lines in his hat. There's one right here, and there's one right here, and one right here, 
thin one right here. And, and then there's a really thin one right along here. Let me And then you can also draw just a little line right there. All right. Stop. Let's stop. Now stop. we need to draw the side you, of... Look how many lines! Oh, yes. So now we need to draw the side of his face. So right next to here, we're gonna come down just a slightly curve and then it ends right around the bottom of his eye. And then we're gonna start right here by his nose and we're gonna do a curved line up. And then right under his eye, we're gonna do a curved line Wait, underneath Wait, how do you it. do it? I'll show you. A curved line that goes Does up to here. Does he look like a pug? Yes, that's so cute. <laughs> And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. So right here by his nose, we're gonna do a curved line up. He is a pug dog. Yeah. Yep, and then over here at the edge of he his hat. He's supposed to be a pug. I think he's a bulldog, but they look similar. And then a curved Mom, line down. Mine is down. a pug now. Okay. <laughs> and then right under this eye, a curved line that leads up. So now we need to do his cheeks. Oh, cute. <laughs> All right, so his chin. He has a puggy. That's so cute. Now watch, can you watch me? All right, so we're gonna do a wide curve for his chin like this. I'm doing his ears. And then, oh, wait well, for me. Mom. Honey, can you wait for me? I keep ears. Okay, wait for me. I haven't gotten to the ears yet. Okay, so now we're gonna do a curved line that comes, tapers in, and then meets up the chin. And then another one over here, curve, taper down, curve in, and meet the chin. So this line I need to just straighten out a little bit because I got a little wonky. All right, so for this ear, we're gonna do a curved line coming down to about the eyebrow, pink, and then curve pink. it in. Oh yeah, there is a pink part. All right, so now it curves in and makes an upside down rainbow shape that comes up to here. And then we're gonna do a diagonal line here. And then <laughs> this is the pink part right in here. So it's like a, it's flopping down. Hello. Okay. okay, and then this ear has a spot <laughs> in it, but it's made the same way. We're gonna do a diagonal line up, curve it down, diagonal down this way. And then we're gonna curve it in, well, I don't wanna upside do down the rainbow. Coloring. I know I have more. Okay, and then we've got a spot right here. And then this is where the pink part is for his ear. Okay, so now we've done his ears. Now we're ready for his body. All right, so his collar, we could, we're gonna do a tiny little line right here. And then we're gonna make his symbol. So we make a wide line right here. And then we're gonna do curve out that way, curve out that way, and then meet together. And I don't want to do the outside because my sharpie is flat. Okay, so it meets together. And I know how to do the wrench. Yeah, there's a wrench on the inside. First I'm doing the outline, and then I'll draw the wrench. So you draw a circle here. I'm done with the wrench. Oh, very good. Let me teach the kids that are watching how to do the wrench, okay? So you do a circle here and then a curved line here, and then straight down, and then a curved line here, and straight down. And that's how you make a wrench with a bolt. I do it differently. That's okay. All right, so now his collar is a black one, and it's just right here above the symbol. And I'm gonna use this opportunity to uh, fix up my chin a little bit, because I kinda got a little <laughs> wonky. I'm done with And you can fill in the collar black. Collar black, 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 collar black. Here's the collar black. Good. Okay. So now. Why does he need a collar? Uh, they all have collars. Okay. So now we're gonna. So angle this down for his vest from that side of the collar, and then from this side of the collar, we're gonna angle it down that way. Right here? Let me see, yeah. Okay, and then his other shoulder over here. No, yeah, good. And then we're gonna draw his vest 
by making a diagonal line that meets up there and another diagonal line that meets up here. And then we bring it together right here. Very I good. I have enough space for my feet. Yeah, but let's do a zipper first. He's got this little zipper coming down. So you can make two lines and then little lines coming down like that. I think it's a zipper anyway. Okay. Now his well, feet. Well, I think it's just showing that so it can be funny. Okay. So just watch my process on this. Okay. So we're going to do a diagonal line right here. Mm -hmm. His feet are a little different than the other pups we've done. And then we're going to do a straight line this way. And then it curves down. And then it comes around to here. So he's kind of got like a boxy shape. And then it comes up like that. And then it goes diagonal back and then look right here we're gonna meet it up we're gonna make a diagonal line and it kind of makes a triangle shape right there Mom, is it fine with my legs? yeah my that's legs? fine and because then my yeah and then we're gonna make his toes by doing a line up and then it follows that same shape and one more right there and then he's got this marking like this a swoop shape right here do you see that swoop shape right there and then yeah his back paw over here it comes out and curves down and then we're gonna make one more curve down and the other curve down and then we're gonna fill it in like that so that's how you do this side and then the same thing over here we're gonna follow this diagonal line down yeah puppy oh cute and then it meets up right here in the middle, and then it curves back. <laughs> and they do his and tail. Over. He doesn't have a tail that shows. He, bulldogs have tiny little stubs, so he does not have a tail that will show. All right, so curved line down here. I don't want to. And then another me. curved line here. And Mom, then it goes I know straight up. And Am I all done? Yeah, just let me finish teaching the kids at home. So then a diagonal line here. Like and then it comes oh, down. Wow. And mm -hmm. then we're gonna make the swoop right here. Cause this is different color than this. All right, so now we just need to finish his back leg and then we'll be done with drawing rubble. So we curve down and over. What's that? This is his back paw, see? And then we're gonna draw one toe line here, another I'm toe line done. here. I know. And then it curve it up. And that is rubble. Is it Thank you so much for drawing with us. We hope you had fun drawing rubble and Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future <laughs> videos. And I would love to see how your drawings turn out. So if you have one of your parents take a picture of it and then they can post it on Instagram in their stories and tag me at Sarah Hatch Art Studio, then I'll be able to see it. All right.